So this weekend, uh, next weekend, the NHL All-Star Game is in Columbus. And next Saturday, there is a breakfast where you can meet some of the players and coaches. And Laurie Boschman is a former NHL All-Star Center. He joins us along with Brian Hansen from the All-Star Breakfast Committee with more on this. Gentlemen, thanks so much for joining us. Laurie, let's start with you. You've done this for a number of years right. at NHL All-Star Games, always right. the Saturday before the game. What's the right. purpose of it? Well, the purpose of it is to uh, showcase some of the former players and some of the current players that they get a chance to talk about their faith and what faith means to them playing in the National Hockey League. And uh, so we have some coaches, some executives. So we're going to have Jim Nill, who's uh, general manager for the Dallas Stars. We've got Chico Resch, who played with the Islanders, won a Stanley Cup. Uh, former Blue Jacket Mike Rupp is going to be uh, uh, is going to be there, talking about what uh, their hockey careers look like and what faith and what. Uh, how their faith has impacted them as individuals and, and where they are now and what they're doing. Oftentimes fans, uh, the general public, can't really interact as much as they'd like to with players and coaches, so this is a great opportunity for them. Yeah, it really is, and of course the All-Star Weekend is uh, is a showcase of the National Hockey League talent, and of, of course they've got all kinds of activities uh, that's going on during that time, and Hockey Ministries has uh, played a small role during the, uh, the, the All-Star Weekend to host a breakfast, and we will do that again uh, next weekend. Brian, you're the chaplain of the Columbus Blue Jackets. Columbus knows a little bit about winning a championship, don't they? Let me see. Something might <laughs> well, not happen. Not very recently. Right? I don't know. Let's see. Right. Uh, and then last year, the Blue Jackets did great. So they how did. exciting is it to have hockey in, in Columbus and doing well? And then you got an event like this. Yeah, this, we couldn't play off of anything better, really. Uh, the Blue Jackets are doing well. They did better last year. They're struggling a little bit this year. But they, they have some outstanding players. If you want to see good hockey, go to Columbus. They're, for sure, there's good hockey taking place. Place there, and it's just a fun environment to, to be around. A lot of people lose sight of the fact that athletes have faith as well, and that's part of the reason that you're doing the breakfast. It, it is, and uh, and we have a number of the players uh, that do come to our Bible studies that we have uh, once a week when they're in town. And uh, but this is a great uh, opportunity. I, of, of course, uh, we have one of our players who's not. We have three players who have made the All Star game. One of them is a captain, Nick Foligno. And uh, and this is just a great event. Uh, wh what we're having, it's the it's the first thing. If you go to the Blue Jackets uh, website on their events page, we're one of the very first events of the day that they've uh, listed up there. And, and if anyone would like to come, they can go to the Blue Jackets website, the events page, and we're right there, and they can purchase tickets through. Yeah, that, that breakfast next Saturday, January 24th, Hyatt Regency in Columbus. Tickets only $35. It's right. a great price. With well, more information on our website, box45now.com. Lori, I got to ask you, you played with five NHL teams. Right. Who's the best player you ever played with? Well, I would have to say I played with a guy by the name of Wayne Gretzky, and he was a pretty... Gretzky, uh, <laughs> Wayne, oh, okay, that guy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but again, I played against Muriel Lemieux and, wow. and some of those great players. In fact, uh, when my first year in Toronto with the Toronto Maple Leafs, I was a 19-year-old. Gordy Howe was just finishing his career with the Hartford Whalers. Gordy was 52 years old, so, oh so it's very interesting that, uh, you know, during uh, that particular time frame as a 19-year-old coming through, and Gordy was just finishing as a 52-year-old. And uh, Gordy Howe is is a legendary hockey uh, icon. You're a legend yourself. 16 great seasons in the NHL. So thanks so much for joining us, My Brian. Pleasure. Thanks as well. Have fun next uh, weekend.